we want to simplify the given trig expression to a single trig function. There are several ways to go about simplifying this expression. We'll look at two methods. So the given expression is the quantity 2 minus cosecant squared x divided by cotangent squared x plus 1. Looking at the identities below, notice how we could make a substitution for cosecant squared x as well as cotangent squared x. Where cosecant squared x would be equal to 1 plus cotangent squared x, and for cotangent squared x, we could subtract 1 on both sides, and cotangent squared x is equal to cosecant squared x minus 1. But notice how by performing a substitution for cotangent squared x, we'd have a sum in the denominator, which tends to make the expression more complicated. So let's only make the substitution for cosecant squared x. Again, we'll substitute 1 plus cotangent squared x for cosecant squared x. So this would give us 2 minus the quantity 1 plus cotangent squared x all divided by cotangent squared x and we still have plus 1. And now let's simplify the numerator. If it's helpful we can think of distributing a negative 1 here. So we have 2 minus 1 minus cotangent squared x in the numerator which would just be 1 minus cotangent squared x. So we have 1 minus cotangent squared x all over cotangent squared x plus 1. Now let's find the sum by finding a common denominator, which would be cotangent squared x. So let's write 1 as cotangent squared x over cotangent squared x. So this is equal to the quantity 1 minus cotangent squared x divided by cotangent squared x, and we have plus cotangent squared x divided by cotangent squared x. Now because we have a common denominator, we can add the fractions. The denominator is going to stay cotangent squared x. The numerator would be 1 minus cotangent squared x plus cotangent squared x, which is equal to 1. Now looking back at the identities, because cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta, these two functions are reciprocals of one another, and therefore 1 over cotangent x equals tangent x, and therefore 1 over cotangent squared x is equal to tangent squared x. So the given expression simplifies to tangent squared x. But notice how we are told to enter the answer in the form the square of f of x, which means to enter tangent squared x we enter the square of tangent x in this form here. And now let's take a look at a different method for simplifying this expression. Let's use the method of converting everything to sines and cosines. So starting with the given expression, because cosecant x is equal to 1 over sine x, we'll write cosecant squared x as 1 over sine squared x, and because cotangent x is equal to cosine x divided by sine x, we'll write cotangent squared x as cosine squared x divided by sine squared x. This will give us 2 minus 1 over sine squared x all over cosine squared x divided by sine squared x. And don't forget, we still have plus 1. And now from here, remember this fraction bar means division. So instead of dividing by the fraction of cosine squared x over sine squared x, will multiply by the reciprocal. So this is equal to the quantity 2 minus 1 over sine squared x times the reciprocal of cosine squared x over sine squared x, which would be sine squared x over cosine squared x plus 1. Now we'll distribute. So we have 2 times sine squared x over cosine squared x Notice for the next product, the factor of sine squared x simplifies out, so we have minus 1 over cosine squared x plus 1. And because sine theta over cosine theta equals tangent theta, sine squared x over cosine squared x equals tangent squared x, so this is equal to 2 tangent squared x minus 1 over cosine theta equals secant theta, so 1 over cosine squared x equals secant squared x. 
then we have plus one. And now let's make a substitution for secant squared x. Notice secant squared theta equals tangent squared theta plus one. And therefore we can write this as two tangent squared x minus the quantity tangent squared x plus one. And then we still have plus one again. And now we'll put the parentheses here. If it's helpful, we can think of distributing a negative one. So we have two tangent squared x minus one tangent squared x minus one plus one, which simplifies nicely to tangent squared x. And again, we are told to enter our answer in the form of the square of f of x. So for tangent squared x, just as before, we enter the square of tangent x in this form. I hope you found this helpful.